They have continued to set trains as a STEM school, not only on the copper belt but the country at large. From producing ethanol and starch, Chiwala STEM school has launched the Itza Mecha Electronic Laboratory. And so we have started this Mecha Lab. I want to believe we are pioneering this on the copper belt and probably in Zambia. What do we use? We just use e-waste. Where do we get the money? Partly from user fee. The school has also set itself a target. We want our boys by 2023 to begin to do research. So they will be able to access e-books. We have bought books, more than four, 5,000 e-books. So we are putting our e-library on a server and our children will be able to access these books and read. Zesco is ready to support at the school. Waste can be a huge challenge to manage. We also generate a lot of waste. And probably through this initiative, I'll, I'll probably, I'll go and report back to my boss that we need to support Chiwara through also generating a lot of obsolete materials that we, that we have. For government, this initiative will go a long way in preparing learners as they go in the industry proud that we have taken this route to innovate because when you look at uh, the curriculum it talks about uh, the 21st century skills and there are many skills there how do i go about actualizing the vision embedded in the curriculum so what you have done is one way that we can go the practical way clinton masumban for the newsroom in masaiti district Copperbelt province Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.